This is like a science lab. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is Maria and welcome to beautiful parenthood and preschool activities, which technically my daughter, who is three and a half, can be considered a preschooler, though she's still somewhat of a toddler. So uh, this video is going to cover color blending, all kinds of options for developing your child's pinch grip because it's really important in preschoolers shape recognition and all other cool stuff. So let's get to it. So the first uh, is color blending. Kids at this age really like to figure out how things work. So color blending is a perfect experience for them to learn the colors. In Scarlet School, they actually work with Montessori um, plates with colors. So she learns the shades of colors and we've learned that yellow and blue make green, uh, red and white make pink she made purple from red and blue and then we took it a step further and did it with chalk not the chalk paint just regular chalk blended the colors on our patio and then added water with some mixed it with a brush and learned more uh what's cool about the kids over three because you can start incorporating them in games and i've showed you some other games in my other videos but this is a matching game from eric carl so for younger kids what you can do is select about 10 pairs of cords and let them match it with Yay! you you just mix it up in a random uh, order so they can scan and visually pick it and for older children it's a memory game when you flip the card and you find the matches so this activity focuses on developing the pinch grip of, of your child which a lot of my science experiments that i will be talking later actually also include this pinch grip because at the age of three by about three and a half your child should be able to hold the pencil as they would when they are writing so you do want to um, let them handle small objects objects as much as they can to develop the specific pinch grip. So for this activity, I use just the foam board and the stick that I bought at the craft store dollars. I can't remember honestly because uh, you've asked me before and they've just been awesome. That's why I like to go to craft stores. Anyway, so I stuck it in there and then I use the beads and uh, the beads we just thread it on and first the idea was to do the color matching but then she took it a step further and just had fun with it and you know it's funny that after that both of my kids actually just like to stick the sticks and the foam board but it was fun to talk about is sand art originally we did sand art bottles and then we also did sand art when you actually have like this sticky paper and you put the sand on I had some sand left over so we decided to do the shapes because I'm doing Montessori at home right now. One important thing for preschoolers to learn is the shapes so I've used leftover foam board and some glue and some sand and that's all you need we outlined it the reason i decided to do the shapes is because i'm getting ready to show you some of my montessori math from primaries and they use a lot of the sandpaper materials so instead of buying something i was decided to create those for with scarlet and she was really proud of her work and you know it uh, served as the purpose because i will be using it in my future activities that i will share with you and then you can see our final result we did a square and a circle and the same paper lets your child to feel the shape and learn more about All it right, so this next section is super fun because it's science experiments the first one was needs just oil water some kind of bucket and a droplet. And also you can use a food colorings. I used organic ones, so it didn't mix very well, but nevertheless, it did for an amazing science experiment. I actually will be doing this a lot. It's not as messy if you have a three-year-old because they are pretty easy to manage and they listen pretty well. So we Another thing I wanted to mention, it's a great opportunity for your child to practice the pinch grip that I've mentioned earlier. That's so important for preschoolers. And you can also take it a step further, add some ice and go crazy. This last experiment was my personal favorite and I think Scarlett had a blast with it as well. It's soda, vinegar, we used watercolor and droplets and you know little uh, dishes that you can put it all and it's amazing. You just spread out the soap. First I uh, let Scarlett mix the water with watercolors and then uh, we dropped it on the soda to create like the you know just some art experience and then another part was uh, starting uh, using the vinegar I drop the vinegar and sit fizz up it's amazing it's so cool and then Scarlett just enjoyed getting her hands dirty in it and we spent quite a bit of time doing this uh, dropping soda into vinegar and sitting at the rub it was really really cool it was a, one of the 
funkiest and coolest things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, my blog is going live. I will link it below. The idea is every single Friday, I will be sharing with you three things. First is uh, activity of the week, something that we love. It's not gonna be developmental only. It will be just some fun stuff because I'm raising them without the screen. So we have a lot of fun too. Then another part is um, some treat of the week, something healthy, organic, alternative to regular stuff and a mom life hack. So make sure to subscribe to this blog, check it out. Every Friday I will be posting those, my top three things for the week. And the next video coming Tuesday will be Montessori math from primaries. I've been getting ready for that one, it took me some time. So I hope you guys to see you soon. Make sure to subscribe if you love what you see and I will see you soon.